Jeff Keen here with the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Now I'm gonna charge the Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance using the Tesla Mobile Connector and the 50 amp 1450 adapter and see how many percent battery charge I can get from this four kilowatt hour EcoFlow. So the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is one of the few portable power stations that has 240 volt split phase. And I have this 30 amp twist lock to 1450 neutral bonded adapter. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I have the Tesla mobile connector plugged in with the 1450 adapter and I'm gonna turn the 240 volt inverter on, but the mobile connector flashes green and then it flashes red. So there's an option in the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 for GFCI RCD support. Let's turn that on and give it another shot. There we go, I turned on the GFI support and now I get green. Okay, so I start out with five amp max current at this location, let's bump it up. Okay, let's set it at eight amps and see what we get. Okay, so at eight amps, we're getting 1.9 kilowatts. Still charging, no issues. Okay, the EcoFlow is running fine at eight amps. Let's bump it up to 10. Okay, at 10 amps, we're getting 2.4 kilowatts. All right, let's bump it up to 15 amps. That should be 3,600 watts. Again, no problem. 3,600 watts, let's leave it here. That's a good place to see if it can charge the battery. Okay, so it's charging at 3.5 kilowatts and the battery in the EcoFlow says it will be depleted in an hour. Let's see how much charge we can get into the Tesla by then. Okay, so at 11 minutes in, We've already added over two miles of range to the Tesla. That could be enough to get you to the DC fast charger. Okay, at 30 minutes, we've added 6.8 miles. Okay, the EcoFlow is still running nice and cool. No smoking, smelling, or anything else. The fans are running pretty good now. Okay, so 43 minutes now, we've added almost 10 miles. Okay, the Delta Pro 3 is down to 10% and it just pushed a notification out. Still delivering 3.5 kilowatts. So there you go, I added about 3.1 kilowatt hours or 13 miles of range to the Model 3. Highland Performance using this EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Now I'm charging it back up to 100% with my ChargePoint Home Flex and the Xtreme adapter. And wow, it's charging at almost four kilowatts at 8% state of charge. So this EcoFlow will add a decent amount of range to the Tesla. It's better than having to call a tow truck. If you'd like to purchase the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3, I'll put a link below and also one for the 30 amp adapter I'm using. And if you don't have the 30 amp to 50 amp twist adapter, you could use the Tesla 20 amp 120 volt adapter to get over 2.4 kilowatts of charging power. Now, if you're gonna do this, make sure you limit the current like I did so that it doesn't try to pull the full 50 amps from the mobile connector. And if you have a vehicle like an F-150 Lightning that you can't, lower the charge rate, then charge using the 120 volt mobile adapter. Now I'm gonna charge this back up and I'm gonna do the same test on the Rivian this weekend, so stay tuned if you have one of those. And I'm gonna also try charging the EcoFlow from the Rivian's 120 volt inverter and then simultaneously using the EcoFlow to power my house through the generator inlet. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about EcoFlow, Rivian, Tesla, Wi-Fi, and tech products.